Hi guys, hello once again and we are back to our latest update for this uh, Monday to Wednesday, July 17 to 19, 2023 and it's already 11 p.m. in the evening but uh, here we are to give you the very latest on the upcoming uh, low pressure system which is located in the vicinity of Palau quasi stationary, barely moving but it's slowly intensifying and uh, this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the City Government of Naga, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Camarilli Sur. So, let's uh, proceed now to our latest update. Here's the uh, GravSat that we issued this afternoon. And uh, Talim, that's the international name, which moved out of the Philippine Air Responsibility uh, yesterday, Sunday. And uh, it intensified into a typhoon before uh, making landfall over Leisure Peninsula. As of 10 p.m., uh, around 10.30 p.m. or 11 p.m. this evening, it made landfall over Leisure Peninsula. So we expect some damaging winds over the area with heavy downpour or rainfall that could affect low-lying areas as well as uh, the coastal waters will have some rough waves, big waves from the sea affecting these areas of uh, southern China. So please take all necessary precautions, especially, especially our countrymen having worked there. So uh, I hope all of you are safe. Meanwhile, the southwest monsoon has started to retreat more to the west and it's just affecting the coastal waters of western Luzon from Ilocos region down to Sambales. There will be some on and off rainfall or rain showers as well during the uh, uh, weakening of this southwest monsoon, becoming more frequent over the uh, Panatag Shoal and the Kalayan Island group, while the rest of the country are now seeing good and improving weather conditions. Right here over the Bicol region, we uh, experience some sunshine in the morning. Actually, all throughout the day, we experience uh, uh, no rainfall here in Naga City, while over Visayas and Mindanao, we have another monsoon trough developing in the wake of this LPA 98W, which has remained quasi stationary for the past two days. It became an active low pressure area yesterday, Sunday afternoon, and it remains at 35 to 65% chance of becoming a tropical cyclone within the next couple of days. Actually, the factor that is inhibiting the development of this uh, low pressure system is the uh, moderate to slightly strong northerly wind shear or vertical wind shear that is affecting the development of this system. But within the next 24 to 48 hours, once this system relaxes, expect abrupt or rapid intensification of this LPA into a tropical depression, which is set to f uh, develop sometime uh, tomorrow Tuesday or early Wednesday but uh, most likely it will be tomorrow evening uh, based on what we are seeing uh, right now on the uh, computer models meanwhile 99W this is uh, another LPA that formed in the wake of uh, Talim or to the east of Talim is currently making landfall now over southeastern China south of Shanghai and it's rapidly dissipating and uh, within the next few hours it will be gone okay it will be absorbed into this frontal system and uh, here's the culprit the high pressure to the south of Japan is the one that is uh, positioning this LPA here that is expected to move towards the northwest and could pose a threat to extreme northern zone and uh, Taiwan area and we are going to show to you the very latest forecast in a while and we have some good news for Fox here in the Beagle region there are now changes in the forecast models particularly the European and American model but Fox over extreme northern zone better watch out for this system let's hope and pray that this system will not make landfall at any portions of the country and uh, 
uh, hopefully all parts of Asia, but it seems that Japan and uh, Taiwan is not uh, safe uh, for the potential track of LPA 98W. Even here over uh, northern Luzon and central Luzon and even the Vical region, uh, if a sudden change of the track of this uh, LPA, there will be uh, still some uh, danger that we are facing. But we are going to observe this system by tomorrow, which is day. We might be issuing the uh, storm watch, okay, since the system is nearing tropical depression status. Now, here's the uh, fast animation. So, here we go uh, Typhoon uh, Talim now uh, overland over the Lishio Peninsula after it made landfall a few, I mean, an hour ago. It's already almost uh, 12 midnight. And the southwest monsoon is starting to break up and the improving weather will be expected, but still some thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening will still be a common factor in our day-to-day -day weather conditions, even without tropical cyclone or monsoonal effects. Now here is now uh, LPN 98W, as you can see, there are some uh, increasing uh, cloudiness in the vicinity of Palau, a sign that the system is still acting up, becoming a uh, well-developed active LPA. And any moment tomorrow, it could become a tropical depression. And uh, there's also another weak system developing to the east of this uh, LPA. So uh, here we go, the uh, track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center uh, for this evening. This is before the landfall of Leisure Peninsula, the northern part of Leisure Peninsula actually. So it's now here, in the vicinity of the northern portions of Leisure Peninsula. So it's somewhere here as of this time. Okay. Now here's the zoom in satellite animation. There's the infrared for the uh, for Fox here in the Philippine Islands. So the, there will be still some showers here over Luzon in some areas and uh, the northern portions of Sulu Archipelago. And here's now the uh, monsoon draft, the uh, new monsoon draft that is. Uh, Currently bringing some thunderstorms across Mindanao, particularly Davao region and Davao City. This is now due to the developing uh, low or area to the east of Mindanao. This is in the vicinity of uh, Palau. So this is likely to become Egai within the next uh, two days if Pagasa upgrades it into a tropical depression where the, the probability is becoming more higher and higher. So we are going to observe that and here's the uh, forecast from the European model for the next uh, three days. So this afternoon, Tuesday, Typhoon Talim will start to rapidly dissipate while low pressure area 98W is becoming more active and likely uh, tomorrow evening, Tuesday evening, it could become a tropical depression or may maybe even earlier. Wednesday afternoon, that LPA will start to move towards the north, becoming uh, remaining as a tropical depression and could become a tropical uh, storm. Now here's the American model, so American model is still more to the south. And uh, Thursday afternoon, it will move north northwest, and it's now more farther away from Beagle region compared to the past few runs, which shows a track very close to Beagle here. But right now it moved back farther to the east. So it's here. Uh, that's after uh, three days. And uh, Friday afternoon, it will become a tropical storm or a severe tropical storm moving now towards the west-northwest in the general direction of northern Luzon. And uh, Saturday afternoon, it will accelerate, becoming a typhoon, passing to the northeast of Catanduanes, uh, most likely 400 to 500 kilometers away. And on Sunday afternoon, it will be uh, preparing, it will be approaching the coastal waters of Isabela, for possible landfall over northern Luzon.
or extreme northern Luzon. And uh, Monday uh, or Sunday evening, it is starting to make landfall. Okay. Monday morning, July 24, it will be in the vicinity of Kalinga or Apayao provinces. And uh, Monday, July 24, in the evening, it will exit Ilocos provinces via Ilocos Sur or Ilocos Norte. As you can see, the southwest monsoon will start to affect again Bicol region, Southern Luzon, Metro Manila, Mimaropa by uh, beginning this weekend. Tuesday, July 25, it will be outside of the Philippine area responsibility. Okay, so that's the European model. Now compare it to the, uh, let me move it on uh, Thursday, 2 p.m. This is the American model. It's still a tropical depression there. Friday, it will become a uh, strong tropical depression. Saturday, tropical storm. Sunday, it will start moving north. Monday, more to the north-northwest. So this American model clock is so far more to the north with a possible landfall over northern Taiwan. So this won't hit any parts of the Philippines. But remember, the forecast models are more than five days or the uh, probability of this forecast models remains low. Okay, so changes will still occur. So we are going to uh, observe this until the system is uh, to the east of Batanes. Okay. Now to summarize the tracks, this is now the uh, uh, forecast from the uh, European model. It shows a landfall over Luzon. Be a northern. It shows a landfall over northern Luzon, while the American model. Uh, this is the uh, track as of 8 a.m. It's still over Batanes, but the latest one right now is towards here. So it looks likely this is the area that could... Uh, this is the area or the cone of uncertainty based on these two models. Okay, so it's most likely that Northern Luzon up to Taiwan is under the uh, threat of this potential typhoon. Okay, so we'll wait and see. But so far, based on the track, Bicol region will be spurred as well as uh, Central Luzon. So only Northern Luzon, Batanes, and uh, Taiwan is under threat as of this time. Uh, but we are always be on the lookout for possible sudden changes in the forecast models let's hope and pray that the forecast models will track towards this way okay with no uh, uh, immediate threat to the philippine islands so let's wait and see now here's the uh, rain forecast for the next three days tomorrow morning tuesday good weather sunny skies all throughout the archipelago except for the eastern sections of Visayas and uh, Mindanao because of the monsoon trough. Tomorrow, Tuesday afternoon, we expect more thunderstorms in the afternoon over in various sections of Luzon, including the Visayas, more frequent over Samar provinces and here over Sampanga Peninsula. Wednesday afternoon, we expect uh, isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms all throughout the country. And on Thursday afternoon, same situation will occur. Okay, so the usual afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms is back with good weather in the morning. And that will be uh, every day tomorrow, beginning tomorrow until Thursday. Now, during the weekend, it depends now on this system based on the European model. Based on the European model with still low probability, Friday, it will start to the uh, eastern, the western rain bands will start to affect the coastal waters of Bicol and Samar. And Saturday afternoon, it will uh, 
Thing, rain showers and thunderstorms over the Bicol region. Sunday afternoon, it's now affecting northern Luzon. Uh, Bicol region is also being affected not by the storm but already uh, by the uh, enhanced southwest monsoon. Okay, so Monday, and it's gonna be stormy across northern and central Luzon, including Metro Manila, because of the enhancement combination of the wind bands and the enhancement of the southwest monsoon Bicol region uh, just right okay uh, wind conditions from the southwest or south and uh, on and off rainfall maybe every six hours just the same uh, situation that happened during the passage of Talim or Dadong okay so that's the extended uh, rain forecast uh, That uh, rain forecast will still change in the next couple of days. Okay, so that's it. That's the latest for this. We will return on Wednesday, but if the LPA becomes a tropical depression, we will be issuing special coverage beginning tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, on that egg I think. Okay, uh, so uh, let's all hope. Let's all hope and pray that this system will still uh, change course and not affect northern the sun. Again, from Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padova saying good night to all. Uh, stay safe always. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mr. Typhoon.tv at YouTube and uh, Mr. Typhoon.com at Facebook.com. Thank you so much and God bless.